That's my prediction right there. If Jonathan Bailey's going to be there, okay. I think he wins No, it. I ride with that too. He... Try this again with a little hotter transmission temp. I think we're going to be installing a nitrous kit. Let's talk about predictions for War in the Woods. Someone asked that. What's your predictions for War in the Woods? What do you think for uh, what do you think for True Street? Jonathan Bailey, are you in here? Are you going to be at War in the Woods? I don't know who's gonna be there. That's that's the only problem. I was thinking, uh, like, didn't Dean wasn't Dean in in Two Street last year? But he hit the grass, or was he in Small Tire and hit the grass? I don't remember. As uh, didn't he? That's my prediction right there. If Jonathan Bailey's gonna be there, okay. I think he wins. No, it. I ride with that too. He would have won last. In my opinion, he would have won last year too if he wouldn't have problems. If the car stays together, I think he runs through that For entire sure. True Street True Street field. For I, I agree with that. That's <laughs> What, curved. what happened? He probably his fucking AC on. Change lanes? No.
sketchy. So here's our oil pressure issue. The secondary guide clogged the pickup tube. Oh shit, I shouldn't put that in there. <laughs> Been hard at it. We got the hood on. That was about an eight hour process. I would say eight to 10 hours. For me doing it. I'm not a professional at all. Got the hood on, got the converter changed, got the engine tore apart, got the, my man Gordon came through on the torque tube. We have an MMR torque tube. So the difference in that is that it does not get this metal piece that's all the way around that mesh. It doesn't have that anymore. So we would not have had oil pressure issues had we had the MMR one because all the junk would have had fell in, or fallen back down. So we wouldn't have a way to stay stored up there. Um, my guy over at Fast Forward Race Engines is going to see if they can get me a guide overnighted on Monday. Um, all of that is pulled apart, ready to put the guide in and uh, fix the cam timing or put the cam timing, I guess, uh, not necessarily fix, but redo the cam timing. Um, cause it probably skipped, which we shouldn't have to necessarily, um, adjust it. We'll just have to put it back in time. Um, and then <laughs> we're going to be heading out to war in the woods. So I put the PTC converter back in. So that way, um, I had a little data on what it was gonna do. I had no data on, on this converter. And uh, it wasn't like I just went crazy fast in the 60 foot either. Um, it might be beneficial, but I have not found it yet. I haven't found the ET. So yeah, y'all comment, like, subscribe. We're working, we're trying to get there. So here is the old tensioner that we were using so you can see it has this little adapter piece onto it and here's the new one so it seems as though it might be a tad bit longer and we are also going to swap to these new guides are rated for 500 degrees so between this not having the spacer anymore, which shout out to my boy Lando for telling me about these, and these being rated for a higher temp and also um, race fuels, this should fix our issue from having to rebuild all the time. Listen, uh, we fucked up. Thank <laughs> you. 